Welcome back to the Hackton How To video channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the good method to multiply numbers. With our simple instructions, you'll soon be a mathematical genius. Hopefully, it'll also give your mums and dads a chance to keep up with you. Let's look at how to multiply 36 and 24. First we need to partition the numbers, that means break them up into tens and units. They become 30 and 6 times 20 and 4. Next we use the draw grid to place the numbers in. It's very simple. Now we can start multiplying. First we do 30 times 20. Be careful with your answer. You need to do 600, not 60. Remember that 2 times 3 equals 6. So 20 times 3 equals 60, and 20 times 30 must be 600. Let's fill in the rest of the boxes. Now we have completed the grid, we have to add together the answers so far. You can add across or down, but it might be easier to go vertically in case you have chunky numbers. Once you've got the two columns added together, you need to add those answers as well. 720 add 144 equals 864. Hey presto! That's the answer. 36 times 24 equals 864. Now we're going to move on to something slightly harder. 100 tens and units multiplied by tens and units. 217 and 38. First we need to partition the numbers. That means break them up into tens and units. So they become 200, 10, 7 times 30 and 8. Next we need to draw a grid to place the numbers in. It's very simple. Now we can start multiplying. Let's fill in the rest of the boxes. 200 times 30 is 6,000. 200 times 8 is 1,600. 10 times 30 is 300 and 10 times 8 is 80. 7 times 30 is 210 and 7 times 8 is 56. 6510 plus 1736 equals 8246. Hey Presto, that's the answer. 217 times 38 equals 8246. If please watch out for more content. If you have any suggestions of, on what you'd like help with and any ideas for the Hacked and How To topics, please let us know. You can leave a comment here or see us on Facebook or visit our website. See you soon!